Hi everyone, my name is Kara Gelber and I'm thrilled to be here tonight introducing my wonderful mentee and today's presenter, Luce Calix. The piece that Luce will be reading tonight is a unique take on dreaming and how the dreams we live and breathe every night come to be. Make sure to pay special attention to the characters as you may recognize a few inspired by NBC's sitcom, The Office. I don't wanna give away too much, but Michael Scott may still have a bit of a few to work out with his colleagues after this one. Without further ado, over to Luce. <clears throat> Today on Dream Jobs, we finally got the chance to interview a few employees from the dream industry and the owner of the company himself. Each interview was conducted separately and their answers weren't shared until after. They had no idea this was part of a larger series. So, how is working at the dream industry? Must be fun. Mikey, working at the dream industry is a literal dream. Ha, see what I did there? As the boss or the big guy, you know, I have, I try to make it as fun as possible. We do roast battles all the time and are so close that some people mistake us for our family. May. Uh, well, it's certainly not boring. I mean, Mikey is um, quite the character. He surprises us with something new every day. He asked me where Zuko was the other day, you know, from Avatar. It was cute, I guess. Blue. Not that great. Our boss, Mikey, just comes up to us sometimes and insults us. My name isn't even Blue, it's Jerry, but Mikey thought I looked like Blue's Clues and it just stuck. Also, there's no training whatsoever, so trying to figure out how to take the concept of dreams into reality for people is bleep. How does one create dreams? Or more specifically, how does the whole process work? Mikey. Well, let me say that it brings literal tears to my eyes when I see the process done. In more details, we see these ideas as little babies and we nurture them into something so beautiful and majestic like a prince or princess. We raise, we raise your wishes to be your realities. It is the dream motto industry. May, my favorite part of the dream industry is cranium LED outlet um, device, AKA the cloud. Yeah, Mikey liked the idea of having an acronym, but <clears throat> I think you can figure out what happened. From the sky, they connect to your nervous system, so we can pick out the ideas from part of your brain, and with that, we send them to the dream mainframe, where they digitize and create the scenarios before sending them back to the brain. Then, ta-da, dreams are made. Blue. I don't know. I, I just press a button, and a light pops up, and boom, dreams. What kind of dreams do you see often? Mikey. Beautiful dreams. We don't allow ourselves to give nightmares, but sometimes it depends on the person, you know? For example, frolicking through a meadow of blooming flowers for the girls and the gays, we even have Harry style in a dress, waiting with open arms. It was so beautiful. <clears throat> I mean, from what I can tell. May, normal dreams of any kind. I mean, I see a lot of people who want to live in fiction worlds of all kinds, which is cool. Most either want to be a villain or the hero. Some surprise me when they just want to sit on the sidelines, but it's really fun to create. Blue. Oh my God, don't get me wrong. Some dreams are totally epic. Like last time I saw the whole, this whole anime fight scene, which let me tell you needs to be animated now. But some are just weird. Like who wants to swim in a glass of milkshake? I don't get it. Once Mikey got his dream cloud uploaded to the mainframe and it was him running in a field of sunflowers into Harry Styles' arms. It was hilarious and also disturbing. <clears throat> Can you tell us more about the three weeks that the dream, dream industry shut down? Mikey, we can't disclose any information regarding the in incident in respect to our clients and our employees. May, uh, well, I can't really say anything because I don't want to get fired and, um, you know, um, respect for our clients. Yeah. Blue. Bleep, yeah. So let me tell you, Mikey being Mikey wanted to send a movie scene that he created to us at the same time while we were awake. But he spilled his papaya smoothie all over the mainframe and it electrocuted the bleep out of him. It was hilarious and we saw it all since he was still connected and sharing it with us. But yeah, he messed up the mainframe. It blew up and, and luckily no one died. It's one of the reasons there's a sign outside that says no drinks inside or else. Well, that's all for today. Is there anything else you might, you might want to add, Mikey? The dream industry will always provide the best service to our clients. We love and care for you all. May, go the dream industry, blue. Uh, can we maybe not share my name or keep all of this off the record? Sure, that was a lie. After we wrapped up, we were unfortunately informed that Blue was fired. So good luck on the job search, Blue. We at News No One Wants Daily are rooting for you.